show YouTube modeling community, my styrene syndicate brothers and sisters, and all my subs. How you guys doing today? Not doing too bad. Ah, <sighs> yeah. It is another week, and it is time for Getting to Know the Syndicate, Volume 8. Yes, folks, we are up to Volume 8. Alright, this week I have five shout-outs. I have two spotlights and one, naturally, uh, behind the scenes. So, we're going to do this quick today. Um, so, we're, let's just go ahead and dive in and get started. Um, before I do start naming off names, I am going to say this one more time. Um, the guys that I'm getting giving shout-outs to, they may have some Google Plus stuff. May have. Um, not necessarily a bunch. And most of them I can't find YouTube stuff for. So again, guys, if I give you a shout out and you have a YouTube page down in the comments down there, let me know. Um, that way I can update, you know, my list, you know, and in the future grab you again, get an update on your guys' pages and stuff, you know, because I, I want to get everybody, you know, visiting your stuff and checking you guys out. Okay? So, with that being said, here we go. Uh, let me get situated here. You know what? I'm just going to go like this. I'm just going to start putting them up there. In that general area, up there, somewhere. <laughs> All right. So, the first one is going to be Joey Aguilera, or Tentacle Joe. Joey Aguilera. Right up there. Uh, the next one is going to be Keith Purcell. Keith Purcell, right there. Next is going to be Chris Lawrence. Ta-da! Up there somewhere. Okay, next one is going to be, and forgive me, I'm probably going to murder these next two, the names, that is. We're going to go with Kutoman Common. Kutoman Common. Kind of like Tutankhamun, I'm guessing, but Kutoman Common. Right up there. And this next one, I know I am not even gonna say it right, but I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt it. And it's gonna be Message Massage Spy Shot. Spychata, my Meshij, Spychata. I'm sorry, I'm murdering your guys' names. It's horrible. Um, but that that's our five shoutouts this week. You know, they're all they were all up there. All right, now let's bounce right into the next part of the video. And we will go with our spotlights. And first this week, we have Aussie Orc. Right up there. Aussie Orc. Um, on Aussie Orc's channel, you'll find Warhammer Miniatures. Um, he's got a couple really good terrain videos. Really good. Um, and... He has a lot of updates, and in his updates, he shows off his paintwork and, you know, stuff like that. Um, he hasn't been real active here the last couple months, but, you know, life happens, folks. So, um, but nonetheless, you know, he's, he does have some cool archive stuff. So, bounce on over. In the description below, I'll have a link. So, clicky the link, and go. Check him out. Um, yep, so, our next one, I love this guy, and most of you guys know him, I'm sure. Next one is going to be Solvent Abuse UK, Ta -ta -ta. our buddy Dread. 
Love this guy. He's honest to a fault, you know, and it's awesome, you know, because you go to his page and you watch his videos, he will tell you what is up, plain and simple. You know, his thoughts, his feelings about stuff, plain and simple, he'll let you know, and it's awesome. But what you're going to find over there is he's a train builder, a miniature painter, and he does some armor, uh, tanks mostly. But I tell you what, man, he, his terrain stuff, holy criminy, it's amazing. He, he has some amazing work over there. Um, he did the, he did a terrain, and he, and he walks you through most of how he does a lot of his stuff, you know, but he did a, uh, what was it, 28 mil, World War II, 28 mil, what do you call it, let me see, I wrote it down here, Crater Road, guys, he walks you through how to do it, making the craters and the road and stuff, sick, sick stuff. Um, and he's got a, he did a, uh, wargaming table, and he, you know, he shows you how he did a lot of the stuff on it, and it's awesome, you know, it's World, it's World War II setting, um, so, yeah, seriously, you just gotta go look at it, you gotta go check out his stuff, it, you will be amazed at some of the detail and, you know, all the stuff that he puts into his into his terrain builds. They're great. Pardon me. Um, in his tutorials, he does have tutorials, and they are kick butt. Kick butt. He breaks it down to, you know, a novice level, which is fantastic, you know, because, you know, a lot of guys, they'll, they'll give you a tutorial, but they assume that you know a lot, or you know, you know, they assume more, you know, more than probably what you do in some cases. But he breaks it down to a novice level, and it's fantastic. Um, and he also has some basing videos, terrain videos, basing videos, kind of the same thing, only not. <laughs> um, the terrain is. His trains are amazing. His bases, though. Wow. He has got some cool basing stuff over there, too. He just did the uh, what is it, 40K uh, Greater Demon of Nurgle, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, Greater Demon of Nurgle. <clears throat> he painted it and put it on the base. Guys, that thing is sick. Sick. You have to go look at that thing. Um, just the amount of detail, and, you know, and the base. He shows you how to make the base, and I mean, it, it'll transfer over to the way he did his co the column and stuff. It'll transfer over to a bazillion different things. Um, great stuff, great stuff. So please, 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 down in the description again. Click the link. Go check him out. You will be, you will have a lot of fun on his site. A lot of fun. Um, so that's it for the spotlights this week. Um, next portion is going to be the behind the scenes. Um, and this week we're going to do Steve over at Cloverleaf Studio. Cloverleaf Studios. <laughs> I figured it was only fair since I did Aaron last week, you know. I, I you know, I'd do Steve this week. Um Steve, you know, great guy. Great guy. Mm, he will you at you guys have a question about war painting or miniature painting, you know, painting in general, uh, airbrushes, you know, products. Yeah, this guy He's got so much information in that brain of his, it's crazy. Um, and don't be afraid to ask him questions, guys. I mean, because he will answer you. He will tell you, you know, what you need, how you need to do it. You know, he'll walk you through it. Um, it's he's, he's a fan 
fantastic, fantastic guy for that stuff. Um, and this, the Styrene Syndicate, um, he's put a lot of time into it also. You know, um, just like with, you know, all of us, you know, we're all putting our heart and soul into this, you know, trying to make it, you know, a great community for you guys. Um, but Steve has got a lot of plans for us, you know, and I really am looking forward to what what's what we're going to be doing next year. Um, next year's not that far away, guys. You know, I mean, Christmas is like next week. <laughs> so, I mean, the new year is right around the corner, and I am excited to see what he's got planned for us. Um, yeah, so, guys, you know, I mean, he, he's not a video guy. He doesn't put up a lot of videos. Um, but he will, he is very approachable, you know on the Styrene Syndicate Google Plus page or our community page you know type you know if you got a question you know just hit it hit him up you know just say hey Steve you know you know send him a message he will answer you I guarantee it um yeah <laughs> sorry about that roommate walked in um kinda threw, threw me off my groove there <clears throat> um, yeah, so, anyway, Steve, you know, like I said, great guy, he will take care of you if you, give him, if you have a question for him. Alright, that is going to do it for this week. Um, I will say that I probably won't be putting another Getting the Notice Syndicate up until after the New Year. Um, you know. And I'm sure you guys understand, you know, it's Christmas time, New Year's, I mean, family, family is first in my book. So, I mean, I will be spending a lot of time with family for the next couple of weeks. <clears throat> so, I won't be a, I won't have the time to dedicate to doing this. Now, after the New Year, I will get right back in the saddle and start pumping them out like normal once a week. All right. So, with that being said... I would like to wish you all a very happy holidays, a very Merry Christmas, uh, Happy Hanukkah, Feliz Navidad, all that good stuff. Um, I don't know all the terms for it, so I'm sorry. So I'll just leave it at this. Happy holidays to one and all. Um, and please, if you're traveling during the holiday season, please be safe. We want you back here at the beginning of the year, bright, shiny, bushy tailed or ready to go. So, alright guys. On that note, I'm out of here. You guys take care, and we'll see you after the new year. Peace. Keep on building, boys.